Hello boys and girls, today I wanted to introduce you to a new form of art. This form of art is called still life. A still life is usually a painting or a drawing done of everyday objects that don't have life. They don't move, like a bowl of fruit or a pot of flowers. This is an artist named Vincent Van Gogh and he's very well known for painting a still life scene of sunflowers. Now at the time, Vincent Van Gogh was not considered to be a great artist, but later, after he died, he was considered one of the greatest artists. Let me read you a book about Vincent Van Gogh. Camille and the Sunflowers. A story about Vincent Van Gogh. Where Camille lived, the sunflowers grew so high they looked like real suns. A whole field of burning yellow suns. Every day after school, Camille ran through the sunflowers to meet his father, who was postman. Together, they would lift down the heavy sacks of mail. One day, a strange man arrived in Camille's town. He had a straw hat, a yellow beard, and quick brown eyes. I am Vincent the painter, he said, smiling at Camille. Vincent came to live in the yellow house at the end of Camille Street. He had no money and no friends. Let's try to help him, said Camille's father. So they loaded the cart with pots and pans and furniture for the yellow house. Camille picked a huge bunch of sunflowers for the painter and put them in a big brown pot. Vincent was very pleased to have two good friends. Would you be friends with Vincent? Would you try to help him? Have you tried to help others before that maybe didn't have friends like Vincent? Vincent asked Camille's father if he would like to have his picture painted dressed in his best blue uniform. You must sit very still, said Vincent. Camille loved the bright colors Vincent used and the strong smell of paint. This is the real painting that Vincent Van Gogh painted of Camille's father. As Camille watched, his father's face appeared like magic on the canvas. The picture was strange, but very beautiful. Vincent said he would like to paint the whole family. Camille's mother, his big brother, and his baby sister. At last, Camille himself. Camille was very excited. He had never even had his picture taken with a camera. At this time, cameras weren't very common, so many people had their portraits painted. And this is a real painting of the real boy, Camille. Camille took his painting to school and he wanted everyone to see it. But the children didn't like the picture. They all began to laugh. This made Camille feel very sad. After school, some of the older children started teasing Vincent. They ran along behind him as he went out to paint. Even the grown-ups joined in. It's time he got a real job, they said, instead of playing with paints all day. Boy, that makes me feel, feel very sorry for Vincent. People were very mean to him and cruel. I wonder if you've ever felt like Vincent before. Camille sat for hours watching Vincent work. It was a very hot day, but Vincent worked fast. He painted the sunflower fields and even the sun itself. He is the sunflower man, said Camille to himself. But no matter how hard Vincent worked, he could never sell any of his paintings. If I had a lot of money, said Camille, I would like to buy them all. Thank you, my friend, laughed Vincent. So Vincent had a hard time selling his paintings because many people didn't really like them and Vincent didn't feel like he was a very good artist either. One afternoon, as Camille and Vincent were coming back from the fields, some of the children from Camille's school were waiting. They shouted at Vincent and threw stones at him. Camille wanted them to stop, but what could he do? He was only a small boy. At last, he ran home in tears. Listen, Camille said his father, people often laugh at things that are different, but I've got a feeling that one day they will learn to love Vincent's paintings. Camille was very sad because he felt sorry for the way those children treated Vincent. That night, Camille had a strange dream. He saw Vincent standing in the moonlight high above the town. 
Vincent had stuck candles on his hat so that he could see. The sunflower man was painting the stars. At that time, lights were not, city lights were not common in, in the fields or in the streets, so you had to paint, he had to paint with candles on his hat, and he took the heat from the candle and melted the wax onto his hat so he could see and paint at night. This is one of his famous paintings in the background represented called Starry Night. Early the next morning, Camille was awakened by a loud knocking at the door. Some men from the town had come to see his father. Listen, postman, they said. We want you to give this letter to your friend. It says he must pack up his paints and leave our town. Camille slipped out through the back door. He ran down the street to the yellow house. It seemed very quiet inside. Then Camille saw the sunflowers he had picked for Vincent. They had all dried up and died. Camille felt sadder than ever. Vincent was upstairs packing his bags. He looked very tired, but he smiled at Camille. Don't be sad, he said. It's time for me to paint somewhere else now. Perhaps they will like my paintings there. But first, I have something to show you. Vincent's lift, Vincent lifted down a big picture. There were Camille's, they were Camille's sunflowers, bigger and brighter than ever. Camille looked at the painting, then he smiled too. Goodbye, sunflower man, he whispered and ran out of the yellow house and into the sunshine. Camille's father was right. People did learn to love Vincent's paintings. Today you would have to have a lot of money if you wanted to buy one. But now people all over the world go to museums and galleries just to see Vincent's paintings of the yellow house, of Camille and his family, and especially the picture of the sunflower so bright and yellow they look like real suns. And this is Vincent Van Gogh. So today, inspired by this artist Vincent, we will paint a still life just like Vincent, of flowers.